some 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 hit the key what up guys welcome back to the channel it's your guy something 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 hit the keys here today to show you guys how to use third-party vsts and plugins and npc beats i'm going to show you guys how to install them into the program and i'm going to show you guys how to access them in the program um, so we're just going to come over here to empty project templates you can go to any of the templates but for the purpose of this demonstration i'm just going to go to empty uh, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to this menu icon you're going to push that you're going to scroll down to edit and then you're going to come down to preferences once you get into preferences you're going to see you have some options over here on the left um, tap plugins um, and then you can see I've already scanned through my VST folders and found a bunch of my plugins But for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to do it again So what you're going to do is you're going to push these three buttons right here um, And then you're going to come to your C drive um, And you're going to drop down the screen on that um, Click on it and then you have to go to um, Whatever folder has your VSTs or your plugins in so most of the time it's going to be in your program files um, and then most of the time it's going to be in Steinberg You might have some random ones just hanging out out here But if you want to get to most of them, you're going to come over here to this VST uh, to the Steinberg folder You're going to click on that and then right here in your VST folder You're going to be able to find your VSTs so you can click on that folder push open And then after you do that, you're going to have to make sure that you click a check mark in that box And then you're going to want to push scan and now so after you push scan now it's going to scan through all of your vsts um, and as you can see um, it's got some of mine popping up some you'll have to enter in the verification code so on and so forth the reason why the scan went so fast though was because i already have them all scanned um, so then after you do that you're going to push ok and then it's going to have all your plugins for you so to actually use the plugin what you're going to do is you're going to come over here you want to make sure it's on midi uh, then you're going to click this plugin button right here and it's going to bring up the cl uh, plugin option but then what you're going to do after that is you're going to come over here to this drop down menu and you're going to tap the plus vst and then it's got all the vsts that you just loaded over here so we're just going to go ahead and load up this dfr 76 for this demonstration um, now with some some of the plugins it's going to allow your presets to come over here so you know you can scroll through all the sounds and all the presets that are in that plugin um, so we'll just pick one um, and then Boom, just like that, you got the plugin. Now, some plugins like Omnisphere, it has too many presets and they don't load here. So, what you want to do to bring up the actual plugin is you're going to click this box right here, and then bam, now you have the plugin. So, you can go through it like you normally would. Um, you can mess with all the effects that are on the natural plugin itself. Um, and then that's how you basically do that. I also want to show you guys how to bring up plugins on the mixer. So, we're going to go ahead and click the channel mixer. Um, so, you would just basically come to your insert, same thing. Um, left click the insert and then you want to go ahead and uh, left click the vst um, you want to pick whatever vst you're going to use so we're just going to go ahead and pick this to be clipped um, and then you're going to uh, left click on the the, pl uh, the plugin and then bam it brings it up for you and so just like that now you have the plugin and you can mess with it individually um, so that's how you guys are going to uh, bring up third-party VSTs and plugins and NPC beats. I hope this video helped you out. Uh, make sure that you guys like, you comment, you subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that good jazz. Uh, so every time we bring you a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate the time today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.